why did they put dog shit in a metal container and think that this was edible? This is not okay. It's supposed to be mac and cheese, but look, I still ate it because that was a meal swipe. Fuck around, Jai, you crazy. Fuck around, Jai, you crazy. Fuck around, Jai, you crazy. Fuck around, fuck around, fuck around, fuck around, fuck around, Jai, you crazy. Hey, you guys, welcome back. You know, we're back. It's a good day. It's a wonderful day. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever y'all got going on. Like I said, every couple of days is a new video. So straight into it, unpopular opinion, college edition. I just wanna start off by saying GPA, I feel like that's a scam. I don't think it's accurate as far as demonstrating somebody's actual intelligence. Because look, most of the time, people's grades, if they aren't the best, it's because of tests. A lot of people are not good test takers. And then it messes with your grade because we all know tests and quizzes and stuff like that usually have a higher percentage when it comes to your grades, especially final exams. So I think they should do something different. Like, because I know with internships, you know, usually companies and stuff, they want you to have a certain GPA. And it's like, I feel like if you know how to do what they're asking and you can like, broadcast it like do like a little trial period You're like okay we're gonna put you up in here because maybe your gpa isn't where we want it to be and just see if you can go with the flow blah blah they should do it like that shit because look i'm gonna come for spacex spacex they got people who have like bomb ass top tier gpas and uh resumes and all types of stuff right and every other day for a while you heard that they was crashing they had like fail launches and stuff like that all types of shit like the aircraft was just boo boo and i'm like these people are supposed to be top tier like the smartest of the smartest all types of shit and they over here fucking up and it's like <laughs> their track record looks good but can they actually do what needs to be done that's why I mean, you know, GPA, I feel like that shit is so fraudulent and it makes people feel bad if they don't have a certain GPA. But I feel like that doesn't define your intelligence. That's just me though. And that goes along with just professors too. Professors, the schedules, the type of shit that they assign. Like I really think that they forget that we have other classes to take. There's no reason why I should have two essays to write, a project, and then I have 20 pages worth of reading plus other assignments for one class that's due by Wednesday. And a lot of people are taking like 12 credit hours. For the most, I'll see like 15. And then there's people who take 18 credit hours. And you know, usually 18 is like five to seven, maybe eight classes. And it's like, you got four or five heavy workload assignments to do for one class. And you have eight other, not eight other classes, four other classes to uh, take care of. Come on, there's just not enough time. I don't give a fuck what anybody gotta say. Professors be bugging. It's like, okay, maybe your ass was struggling in college, but they ain't got shit to do with me. They don't got nothing to do with me, sweetheart. I don't know why they wanna make our life so hard. For what? It's undergrad. And most of the time it's classes that are like, um, our basic core classes, like relax. You get into our technical classes, we don't even do that much work just doing too much and then so a lot of professors be rude as hell for no reason like do you hate your job do you hate your job i don't want to be here yo i know your ass don't want to be here but come on let's just be cordial let's be cordial make it easy for the both of us because they do too much if you turn in something late like they they do entirely too much like it's not that deep a lot of people be stressing out already come on come on and then they wait until the last minute to try to grade grades and then they stress themselves out and then that's when they want to be assholes to us. And it's like nobody told you to wait until the very last minute to start grading stuff because you need to turn in grades. That sounds like a personal problem. Sorry, not sorry. Now, it's like we spent all this money to go to college and it seems like stuff is just not top tier like it should be. They colleges get all this money. Now I'm gonna come from my college because they put this fat ass A over the highway. What the fuck we gonna do with that? Look at it. Have you seen our dorms? We need better dorms. We need more parking. The dining hall food is shitty. We need seasoning. We need more, a wide variety 
of foods to eat, a better selection. There's no reason why we pay so much for a dining meal plan. It is trash. It's trash. I shouldn't have to bring my own seasoning. Now look, this is a fact. I got a plastic bag full of seasoning that I take with me to the dining hall. Cause it's just, it gotta look. You gotta do what you gotta do. Cause they, they just don't do it. They, come on. Now, I want y'all to look at this right here, okay? I'm gonna put videos of all the food that I've eaten, that I've recorded. I don't have everything. You just look at it, okay? The mac and cheese video, why did they put dog shit in a metal container and think that this was edible. This is not okay. It's supposed to be mac and cheese, but look, I still ate it because that was a meal swipe. Okay. What is this? What is it? I just, I just don't get it. And now, if you're going to school, I highly recommend getting food from the deli or Terrence, whatever they want to call it. That food be busting. Boom. Busting. And then, Donna Hall food already makes you have to use the bathroom. I'm not even gonna lie, that shit gonna run through you. But look, at least make it enjoyable to eat. It's very rare where the food is actually good. Now, I'm gonna put y'all on game. The food is only good when they got people visiting the school. Bogus fraud, fraudulent, fraud. Out of pocket, completely out of pocket. I don't know why that's a thing. Like we don't deserve top tier food, good food, but people visiting the school deserves that. That's come on. We know when people are visiting the school because that's when they want to bring out the good stuff, like steak. Oh, we're having steak today. Oh, then you see like a group of tour people coming in. I'm like, oh, that's why. That's why. And you know what? That's real cute. Okay. Now dorms, we already be struggling on that twin extra long. You think we all grown. It's bad enough that some people have to share a room with people that they don't know. But a twin extra long? Who came up with that? A twin extra long. I just want to know who came up with that idea. And were they on crack cocaine, meth, or heroin? Because when, since when was that a good idea? We all grown as hell. And people now are tall. Shit, my feet be hanging over the fucking bed. Like... It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then the dorms and stuff, like I said, are outdated. We're, it's 2021. Why is it set up like we in the 1920s? Why is the furniture old as hell? It's older than me. Unacceptable. Like I said, a lot of schools be getting hella money and they don't put that shit towards the students when it comes to stuff that we use. But let it be like a sports team or some bullshit. And they gonna spend that money. That's what I'm talking about. They be focused as hell. And then parking passes. Parking passes, the cost that it takes to park on campus is out of this world. For the amount of limited parking that we have, a parking pass should not be $600, $800. Crack. Crack. Ain't no way. And then they get mad if people don't have parking. So they park, you know, kind of on the road a little bit. And then they want to give you a parking uh, ticket that's like $100, $200. Like, okay. What do you want us to do? <sighs> there should be no reason why stuff is outdated in this 2021. It's 2021. And then along with that, FAFSA be on dick. Because it's like they, if we are filling out FAFSA, don't you think we would like to receive money? That's what I want to know. That That's just what I want to know. Because it's like they, they have all these restrictions and guidelines and all this shit where it's like, okay, if a family makes like six figures a year or something like that, oh, they should be able to pay for your school out of pocket. First of all, it don't work like that. What makes you think somebody's parents can pay for one child's whole entire college tuition? And college tuition is not cheap. And they got other bills to pay. They got other shit and probably other kids to worry about. And you think they got enough money 
to pay for their other child's tuition in full. And a lot of schools be taxing. There's schools that have 60K per semester. Meh. It's meh. I promise you, it is meh. Because ain't no way. And then they want to be a little like, okay, yeah, we should be grateful if they do give us money. But most of the time, it's like $300, $200, $100. Like, that's an insult. It's not even a textbook for two classes. And y'all know they be taxing with textbooks. There's no reason why an e-code should be $200. And then they limit your access to that e-code. You only get like a semester, maybe two if you're lucky. And then it'd be like, oh, no. They pulled the a plug on that shit. Because it's like hardcover books is not really a thing anymore. Because they kind of, they're trying to cut down on paper and all this other stuff. Which is cool. Yeah, say the trees because we need them. You know, the environment is looking very shitty now. But... They need to lower the price for e-text because that's just ridiculous. It's just like everything is so expensive for no reason. And I'm going to keep saying crack throughout this whole entire video because that's like the main definition of college. Just crack cocaine and meth. Because that's, it's just so much going on. And then you sit there and you wonder why you even decided to go to college. Because why? And then literally everything costs money. If you want homework, you want notes, people be charging for that shit. They be taxing for that shit. Oh, you want the homework for last week? $40. And yeah, somebody, some people might pay you to take tests and quizzes and stuff like that if you want to make a quick buck. But other than that, it's different when you need it. Like, we supposed to be in this motherfucker together. Trying to, you know, all prosper. Y'all trying to make money off each other. Damn. Damn. And I don't know why people think that college students are rich. They just got money to throw around. Because that's when people want to scam us. It, look, y'all got to stop that. It's not like that. Most of us be, yeah. Most of us, mm-mm. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's the complete opposite, okay? <sighs> I'm tired of people... When it comes to black people that go to PWIs, I'm tired of other folks that go to HBCUs and shit trying to tell us to transfer. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Just because something bad happened at our school, that doesn't mean, oh, you know, you should. that's why you should went to HBCU. It's pros and cons no matter where you go. It's never gonna be perfect, right? And trust me, I weighed my options before I picked what school I wanted to go to. I don't know why they, they do that shit. It's so annoying. Like, I don't care. I'm glad you like your school. You, you know, you like um, advertising for your school and telling people to come there. But are you going to pay my tuition when I get there? You don't see me telling you that, hey, you should come to a PWI, man. No. You picked your school for a reason. Good job. Enjoy it. The fuck? Anyways, along with major too, we got to stop this whole being surprised when you see women of color or just women, period, in male-dominated fields, but majors in fields where it's like mainly white people in it. We gotta stop that because nothing should surprise you. It's 2021. Out of state, in state, my unpopular opinion, I feel like when you go out of state, it just hits different. I, I highly recommend going out of state instead of staying in state. If you got the means for it, go out of state. Try something new. Because mix it up. Mix it up. In state. I don't know. I haven't been in state, but I feel like, I don't know. I just get tired of seeing the same people. So I want to mix it up. After so long, I'm like, okay, I got to go. And then community college versus university. I don't know why people talk down on community college. There's nothing wrong with it. I I went to community college for a semester. And then COVID, I went for a full year. College is college. You, either way, you're going to get a degree. It don't matter where the fuck you get it from, as long as you get it done. So if you go into a community college, don't feel bad that you go into a community college. Because at least you're going to college. Okay? If anybody talk down on you because you're going to community college, tell them to pay your tuition. If not, tell them to suck your ass and keep it pushing. The fuck? People do too much of this. Where the money at? Yeah.
Oh, you, oh, community college is bad. It's trash. Pay my tuition in so I can go to the university. Oh, that's all you gotta say. Cause I promise you universities, I feel like they really be taxing times 10 because you go to a community college for the same degree and they have less classes that you need to take. But university is like, they got all these prereqs and stuff that you gotta take for one class. You're trying to rob me. Yeah. Also perfect grades and stuff like that. C's and D's get degrees. So don't don't be hard on yourself because you you got a C one semester or you you don't have perfect A's and B's. Bro, you gonna get a job regardless. Thank you. It's not it's not that deep. Don't stress yourself out. Go easy on yourself. Shit. <sighs> I feel like that just needs to be said. Go easy on yourself. Everybody needs to. Enjoy college. It's an experience. It's not supposed to be a race or, you know, a competition. None of that. Focus on you. And you don't get it done. What's for you will always be for you. Remember that quote. Yo, according to my calculations, I think that's the end of this video. I think I said everything that I wanted to say, but if I forget something, I might do a part two. But also, comment your unpopular opinions, all that stuff, because I would like to know, you know. And I'm going to see you guys in a couple of days. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs>